myself Santosh. I'm working as a micro a manager at Microsoft. And along with that, I'm also taking uh, care of the training part in case our data vision. And I do have around nine years of experience working with data related technologies, uh, including data science, data analyst and data engineering. I have experience around uh, working with around 80 projects in different domains with respect to telecommunication, healthcare, e-commerce and banking. And for the last five years, I've been training people in different technologies. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In this particular video, we are going to look at one new course, which is Power Platform Developer. And nowadays, this is currently the odd skill in the market. So we'll try to understand what exactly is this Power Platform Developer. Now, as an agenda, we'll talk about two things. One is we'll try to understand the complete course. What are the products which come under this Power Platform? And also, we'll see the opportunities. As of now, you all know only Power BI. And in fact, we are thinking that Power BI itself is a new tool which was launched in 2015. We say that seven years old. And what exactly Power BI does? Power BI is a tool which converts your raw data into visualization. And that is what most of us know. Now, we need to accept the fact that apart from Power BI, which is a Microsoft product, we still have other four products which is making our work easier. Now, all the tools which you're seeing on the screen, Power BI, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agents, Power Automate, and Power Pages, this five tools comes under, they are put into one bucket, and that is called Power Platform. Now, for each and every use case and problem statement, we do have different tools, which is going to work, make our developer work very easy. Now, let's talk about one by one. Right. And if you see the definition, it's just say that group of products that is used to develop and build complex solutions. Well, just look at it one by one. As in then, we already know what is Power BI. Power BI was launched in 2015. So it's a BI tool which is responsible for converting your raw data into insights. Now, majority of the people know this, but what comes after that is the question mark. Now, this is a Oldest tool, I would say, among the Power Platform. Post this, they have come up with something called Power Apps. Now, Power Apps was launched in 2018. I would say five years back. And the purpose of going with this type of tool was, you can come up with a mobile app-based solution that you can use it for your business. Now, always you cannot take your laptop wherever you go in order to operate your Power BI visuals, but what we can do here is we can try to create a mobile application and this mobile application has a capability to interact with the database and backend. If you want to do any changes in the front end, automatically you can go and do at the backend, right? Now that was the purpose of building this Power Apps and this is the second product that was launched in within the Power Platform which I would say, which was launched in 2018. Now, the next one which we have is Power Virtual Agents. Well, all in all, we have all come across this pandemic time. The last good year which we had was in 2019, right? In the 2020, the entire world changed. But in the 2019 is where the last year which we had a fruitful year. Now, if you see, this product was launched in 2019. Now, what exactly is this product now? Now, this product, if you see, this is Power Virtual Agents. Nowadays, every application, every app, this feature, which is called Chatbot. Now, what exactly is a chatbot? Let's give a simple use case. You order food in Swiggy or Zomato, and it is taking some extra time to get delivered. Immediately, you open a chatbot and communicate with the either a system or a user and ask the status, well, this is all nothing but you just send a chat message and you get response. Well, when number of users are increasing, that doesn't mean that you also have number of people who are increasing in the service center. That cannot be possible. You should, you should find a way 
in order to respect the user who is actually raising the request for that chat bot has been introduced. Even if there is no physical person who is helping, a bot can respond to you and it can solve most of your repeated questions and that is what this virtual agent is going to solve for us. So you can build a chat bot and the most important is I would say no coding or a limited coding we can achieve this and this was the tool which was launched in 2019 right now again moving forward we have something called power automate now automate is a one word which most of them are knowing about it how can you do your manual work every time where you need to do an automation well there are some tasks which needs an automation and you can easily do it by using your power automate for example let's say you want to schedule a meeting on a daily basis why are you going and doing it manually we have power automate well if you want to send some reminder why are you doing it manually well we have power automate most of your manual process can be automated and this is something which we have with this power automate and this is a tool that was launched in the COVID time that is 2020 right now we are thinking that this, this is a new tool well even after that we still have one of the other tool which is called power pages which was just launched six months back now what exactly this power pages well we can build an app we can build a bi report we can automate it what's next well all in all the next step is you need to create a website for applications well by using your power pages even that is possible with a limited coding well the overall the idea of microsoft to come up with the my power platform is with the less and the limited coding efforts you can still achieve your enterprise applications you can build a bi report you can build a mobile application and all in all you can also come up with a website that is the idea behind going with this power platform well by using this five tools you can use it for different purpose just to give you a summarize these are the tools which you are seeing power bi is completely for visualization Power Apps is for completely your mobile application which interacts with the backend. Power Virtual Agent, I would say that you can create your own chatbot by using this tool and with the limited coding that is also possible. And if you want to automate certain process, you, that is also possible by using Power Automate. And finally, I would say still it's in the preview stage, but it is also into the market which was launched six months back in the May 2022. That is power pages by using this also you can create your website well all in all you can create an app you can create a report you can create you can automate certain process you can even create a chatbot and you can also create a website all this five tools is what is a power platform and learning all these tools making your presence in terms of uh, being a developer without knowing much of your coding efforts we are going to become a power platform developer right so these are the five tools now coming to the why it is in demand why it is in demand of course as i said all the companies are moving towards the microsoft platforms but the most importantly you need to remember is there are shortage of developers most of them doesn't even know how to develop these applications but we have a solution by using this power platform you can become a power platform developer with no coding skills and if you are taking any other application it is very tough if you are building over a coding like java python or net you need lot of process you need lot of servers but here no such things you can directly go and deploy in the microsoft server and if you are developing any tool the most important thing is you need some softwares and you need some IT support to install that into your laptop and then start working but here no environment tools required here directly you can jump into the tool and we can start deploying well all this it is making demand and the most acceptable fact is there are shortage of developers 
we don't have much of developers and that is why this technology is now in demand and to conclude we are going to start a new course on power apps development and we are the first institute to start and to teach you all the products because even power pages if you see it is just six months old and we are going to teach you that as well in the three months of span we are going to train you on on all the power platform products and in fact the end goal is you can also become a software developer without knowing coding well for more details please reach out our team our team can help you thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe our channel we'll come back with more videos thank you